Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started using Papageo to sync an audio file to different mouth shapes uh, that you can use in your 2D animations. We can then take this and import it into a program like Synfig Studio or OpenTunes or even Blender and we can use these different mouth shapes uh, in our animations. So the first thing we need is an audio file and I'm just going to use Audacity. Um, it's also a free program for recording audio on your computer. And I'm just going to record a sample file right now that we can bring into uh, Papageo. Here we go. This is my test audio file. So I've recorded a file here. I can play it back and hear it, listen to what it sounds like. Let me enable my desktop audio real quick so you can hear it as well. Oh, we got a problem. Okay, I'm just going to export this because uh, I think I've got a conflict because I'm recording the video. But I'll export this as a uh, wave, uh, dot wave format. I, th I believe we can, I think you want it to be in, in WAV format. I don't think MP3 is supported. And so I'll just call this test. It'll be a .wav file on my desktop. We'll click save and we'll export this file. I can then close out of this. And now I can see this file right here. I can click on it and hopefully this listen to it. This is my test audio file. Okay, very good. So now I can bring this in. I think I can just left click and drag and drop it in. Or I can go to file oops, file, open, and I can select the location of it as well. So I can click like click, click it like this. Either one will work. So we'll set this back here now. And now we can play this file inside of Papageo. This is my test audio file. Very good. Uh, and now let me turn this volume up a little bit on the sound so we can hear a little bit better. Now the way we map the mouth shapes to this audio file is by typing in the words that are spoken. So down here under spoken text, we need to type in exactly what's said here. So we'll listen to it again. This is my test audio file. So I need to type in word for word what that is. This space is my test audio file. So I type all that in and notice as I type, it puts uh, those words in here, it kind of overlaps it. And if we hit play right now, the mouth will say the same thing I typed down here. This is my test audio file. And we can change what mouth is saying it. There's, a, there's different uh, mouth versions, different angles. This is my test audio file. But uh, notice it's not in sync with the audio file. It just put these where it thought they should be. We can move these around by just left clicking. So this top one, we can left click on this green to move where the whole thing starts. So we'll, we can see this is a representation of the audio uh, wave file. So we see there's no activity after this point and none before this point. So we can at least move this green bar by left clicking and holding on it to show where it starts and stops. Now we can hit play and that'll look a little bit better probably. This is my test audio file. Not too bad, but still a little bit off, I think. And so we can come and fine tune these. So the this part, if we click here, it'll say that word. This, this, this I'm left clicking and holding and kind of scrubbing across. This, this, this is, is, my, is my, my. So my is kind of done there. So we can left click and fine tune the my. The T starts right here. So I'll move that T back a little bit. Test. And then the test ends over here. Test, test, uh, uh, and then the audio uh, starts a little uh, bit before that. I'm just left clicking each of these. If we click in the middle, we can move it around. If we click on the ends, we can extend how where it begins and where it ends. This is my test audio file. Okay, I should have changed that file a little bit here. Because of the right there, file. That's pretty good. This is my test audio file. Yeah, it's not perfect. I can fine tune it a little bit more. And then if for some reason, uh, what, what this is doing, it has a, a, an engine behind it in knowing how to say these words. In English, we're using English right now. We could change it. It supports other languages as well. So it knows that to say this, it needs to use this sound ETC and then this AI sound. Those are the two different um, what are they called? Pho, phonet, phonouns? Phonetics? I'm not sure where they are. But it's the two different mouth shapes that it uses. These are the, these represent the mouth shapes that are there. Uh, and so we, we can change this. There's more different mouth shapes as well we can look at and see. This is my test audio file. So not, not super perfect. And we also have certain frame rates. This is my test audio file. Now we can create our own. I'm going to show you how to do that in, a, in another video. Um, we can export this. Uh, it looks like Anime Studio, this is a different version than I was using on Linux. We had more options on the one I was using uh, in Linux. In fact, 
what version is this? This is version uh, 2.0. So uh, I was using version 1.4, and it seemed to have more features in it. Um, but to, what, what we can do, we can save this as a uh, Papageo file, a .pgo. And that's going to have some different uh, information associated with it. So we can save that. But there's a way we can export, too. Uh, let's go to... I'm not super happy with this export. B before, we could export um, in some different formats. But let's click Export here and just see what we have here. So this is just going to be just a .dat file, which is fine. We can use this. And we'll call it Voice1 on the desktop and save it. And so now we have this exported. And then we'll just take a look and see what this file actually is. We can right-click on the file and go to... Uh, open with and then we can just choose the program we want to open with uh, Windows isn't letting me drag this over I'm just saying open it in notepad and so all this is really doing this dot uh, dat file is telling us in frames on frame 1 rest on frame uh, and then up to frame 12 rest and then at frame 11 or 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 four 12 frames rest and then four 11 frames show this ETC shape of the mouth and then for 14 frames, show this AI shape of the mouth. And then for 11, uh, for 17 frames, show this. So these instructions can be parsed and imported into various animation programs. Uh, we're gonna have to do a video on that in the future. So I'm just gonna end this one here. But that's the basics of using uh, Papageo. And uh, I'll make another video showing the Linux version and some different, some of the different uh, resources that we have available. But thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave your questions, comments below if you have any, and I'll catch you in the next video.